And driving is the big story tonight. The downtown tunnel from Norfolk to Portsmouth is officially closed. That means we are now on the first of many weekends of closures. We've been telling you about this for a while now. So how does this affect you? Well, let's take you live to the downtown tunnel to explain. Ten on your sides, Anita Blanton joins us from the Portsmouth side. And Anita, a lot of drivers are impacted by this. They sure are, Nicole, and they're not happy about the inconvenience that this $119 million rehab project is going to cause over the next two years. You know, as Tom and Nicole mentioned, we've been on this story. We've been passing along the developments over the last several months that we've been getting in. We've done live shots from this very same spot, and it's sometimes hard to hear because of the traffic coming up this ramp. But tonight, these cones are on the opposite side, and you won't see uh, anyone coming up. It's a much different sight than what we're used to much different. Now it's going to be like this for at least the next 20 weeks. Uh, closed on the westbound side around 8 p.m. on Friday, shut down until Monday morning at 5 a.m. Plus, once that's complete, the work starts in the opposite direction and that could take even longer. Over the last month, we've spoken to business owners who say this is going to hurt their bottom line. We've spoken to people about the extra time it's going to take to get to places like the Naval Hospital. And tonight, we spoke with some of the last drivers to make it through the tunnel before it shut down, still frustrated by what's taken place. It sucks. They're starting to block it off now as we speak. And this town here is really a um, hot spot, especially downtown, is really going to mess up business. They get ready to mess everything up. I don't see the point of closing it. That's going to cause a lot of traffic. A lot of people aren't going to be able to go to work or go home at that. Elizabeth River Crossing says both tubes of the tunnel are about to get some much needed maintenance and improvements that it's extremely important in the long run for the preservation of the facility. And they say above all that the closures that will be taking place over the next two years are for everyone's safety above everything else. For now in Portsmouth, Anita Blanton, 10 on your side.